Hey everybody. You ever seen those videos where a guy hooks up a misting system to his outdoor AC unit and claims to save 30% on his electric bills and colder air coming out of his vents? I just saw one of those videos and I thought it was kind of intriguing, so I thought, hey, why not? Give it a try. And I'll bring you guys along to see if it actually works. So I'm gonna make a simple system here uh, a lot of them have like those funky flaps that activate a water valve that turn on the mist when the air comes on, whenever the fan comes on, on top of the AC compressor. I think that's kind of rinky dink. Uh, come to find out there's a 24 volt uh, circuit that activates a relay that actually puts the power to the compressor. So that 24 volts is perfect to activate a sprinkler valve. So my idea was, I'm gonna take the sprinkler valve. I've got a, this is a three quarter inch valve. You can get three quarter or one inch. This is a three quarter inch valve. I got a three quarter adapter to garden hose. So I can actually thread this on to my outdoor spigot. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I have a Y adapter down there. I'm gonna thread this onto that Y adapter so I don't have to have a hose. And then coming out of here, I've got a three quarter to swing pipe adapter and then I'm gonna this to the swing pipe I have a half inch to a swing pipe to half inch adapter here and then I have this little micro sprinkler you know adapter here so I mean for like uh, you know spaghetti hose or whatever you want to call it so anyway from here I'm gonna go to these little misting heads that I got at Lowe's and I'll put it in maybe zip strap them up there in three different places around the the condenser and uh, we'll see what happens I'm gonna test it before I have it activated see what amperage I'm pulling on that compressor as it's running and I'll test the air coming out of the vents see how cold it is then I'll activate it, same thing, and we'll, we'll uh, compare notes there, see if it actually works. So, all right, let's get started. I'll get this thing installed, and we'll get going on our tests. Okay, got my valve all put together here. As you can see, my adapter for a garden hose, my valve. I adapted it to this piece of uh, swing pipe, and then my micro pipe on the end. I guess it's called landscape hose. I don't know. Anyway, this will go on here. Just squeeze it on there. And then I'll just uh, use the T's to just put it on the condenser with my micro misters. This will be ready to go. All I gotta do is just wire the circuit once I get down there. To make things a little cleaner, I'm gonna make a like an extension cord more or less from my valve to the outdoor unit. So I'll wire this end of this connector sticking out of the bottom of the unit and then this plugs into that. And the other end of this will just be wired to my valve. So that, as you can see to make the connection I use some waterproof butt connectors. I'll heat these up here in a second. Shrink them and then the sleeve will slide over and it'll make a nice clean cord. There we go. All right, I'll test the same vent before and after. This is before. blowing about 59, 58, 58 degree 
air out of the vent right here. So once we get this hooked up, see if we can reduce it. Okay, got the uh, disconnect out of the disconnect box. Have some powers off out here. Got the cover off of my outdoor unit. This little wire right here coming in, this is coming from the furnace, and this is what carries that 24 volt AC power that uh, actually activates this switch here, this relay switch that, that turns the compressor on. So this one here, I actually have a call for, I set the thermostat to call for AC in, indoors. The compressor is not on because I have the disconnect disconnected. We are going to connect these two, the probe, these two wires here. 25.65 oh, 25 volts, that's perfect. That'll activate my sprinkler uh, valve to turn on my water system. So I'm going to tap into that. I'll show you how I do it whenever I get it all done here. And uh, we'll test the amperage on this thing. Okay, before you get going on... Uh, Hooking your sprinkler valve to the 24 volt circuit. Make sure you turn the thermostat to off. Otherwise, I mean, 24 volts will give you a little pretty good zap if it uh, decides to call for air and you got to hold those wires. So don't do that. Turn the thermostat off. Pull the handle out of the breaker. And then the wire into your 24 volts. Okay, in order to test the amperage, you have to decide, <clears throat> you have to test the amperage on the common side of the relay in order to get an accurate reading. I just know that because I did some research and that's how you test the amperage on this on, on these things. So in order to find out which one is common on the back of the cover, there's a schematic or wiring diagram. And let's see if I can find it here. Right here is the compressor. C-O-M-P, see that? And the common is this one right here. It says C, that's common. You can follow that up there where it gives a color and it's BK black. So it's the black wire coming off of the top of the relay. Get a red on one side, black on the other. It's this wire right here. This, And you only want to clamp one wire. So we're going to clamp that wire there. Maybe. Got it on there. Then plug this disconnect back in. As you can see, we're pulling ten point seven amps. Right at ten point seven amps. 10.65 amps. We're going to call it 10.7 amps. Now that's before. I don't have the misters attached to the unit yet, but I'll show you my setup. Got my outdoor hydrant. Got it plumbed into my valve through the a swing pipe and then into my Mr. Landscape pipe. So by my calculations, whenever I plug this in over here, which is where I'm gonna plug it in at, when I plug this in, we should get water. 
second once I turn the water on for this uh, for the sprinkler valve to close up. So, now if I plug this on and we get water, we are good luck. Alright. That was actually activated by the unit itself. Those are cool. Mm. That is sucking it in. It is, yeah, you can see. Definitely wouldn't want that much water around while you're running this thing all the time. Definitely need finer mist nozzles. But this should be able to give us a test here. Let this run for a few minutes and then I'll go up and check the vents upstairs see if we get any colder air I should have just pointed out that we're down to 53 degrees hit 52 all ago 53 degrees is from 59 before that's incredible all right so the other misters were just way put out way too much water I got these on Amazon they're like micro misters and all I'm gonna do is just take this this uh, landscape hose screw it in there I wish that that sealed enough to actually uh, use it like this but it doesn't you gotta take a zip strap wrap it around there and then just tighten it up as tight as you can get it like so it off. And this one be would be ready to go and this is what they look like when they're running it. I got these nozzles, Mr. Nozzles, changed out. Maybe you can probably see how fine this mist is now. Let's suck them right back into those coils, which seems like it's a good thing. My average is still at 10.7. So it really hasn't changed that. This thing's probably been running for maybe 10 minutes or so now. So. This thing works really good. It just activates when the AC comes on, so. I'm impressed with that. I don't know if I need more misting nozzles or not. I guess that's to be decided. But there's not a lot of, I mean, the ground's a little damp, but it's not terrible or anything. There's not standing water or anything anywhere, so that's a good thing. These are more like the misters at a, at a, like standing in line at a amusement park or something. I'm at a return here. I'm going to show this. 66, 67 degrees below our, in the return so that's supply air and what I understand you want 18 to 20 degrees difference out of the vents and I'm blowing 46 47 out of this vent here so as you can see this thing is blowing at 46 47 degrees 48 there 47 47 degrees, that's <laughs> it's like 10 degrees, 10 degree drop from before. That's amazing. Hey everybody, I actually went on Amazon and I was going to buy some more nozzles because I 
thought I needed a few more for my uh, AC project down there. And I wound up buying these. So it's a, it's a plastic body where the, the nozzle screws into it. And it's a shark bite fitting on both ends. I thought these would work great for this for this project. Uh, you get 10 of these and two of these plugs for the end to block off the end whenever you know at the end of the the end of the line so it ain't leaking out. 10 of these, two of these and nozzles for 10.99. You can get them in black or white, whichever one you want. So I'm going to install some of these on my unit down here because I think it's going to be a lot cleaner and uh, I'll show you how it looks when I get done. Okay guys, this is the final configuration of this. I got these new nozzles installed. As you can see, it's really, the nozzles are a lot closer to the housing, so it really sucks it back in there. I like that a lot. Got it on three different spots. I mean, the air coming out of the vents is just ice cold. Undeniably, it's uh, much much cooler air coming out of the vents upstairs. So, so it's in review, we got a a Y adapter off my house spigot. We have a three quarter. We have a hose, a three quarter adapter, a three quarter sprinkler valve. It's wired to a circuit in the unit. Go to a three quarter adapter to a swing pipe, and we go swing pipe to this little adapter for this landscape hose, turn it into this quarter inch OD hose, and then my misting heads and just zip strapped it on there. I think three spots is definitely enough. It's really, as you can see, it's really sucking that vaporized air, vaporized water through the coils. They can't clean off your... There we go. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Like I said, undeniable that the the air coming out of the vents is, is, is colder. There's no doubt about that. Now the amperage pool, I didn't get that there was much any difference there, but in theory, if the air is colder, and it cools the house down faster the faster this thing cycles off so in theory it is saving me money so if you guys are interested in another video maybe in a month or so and i'll just compare uh my electric bills leave it in the comments and uh maybe i'll just put together a quick video like that if you're interested so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did subscribe it's free it doesn't cost anything and uh, I'll see you next time.